Hello everyone. Thank you all for listening in. Today's movie review will be of the 2022 film Morbius. This is a film from the Marvel Comics franchise and basically is an action adventure superhero film. Bio-wise, Dr. Michael Morbius is a leading scientist and doctor winning Nobel Prizes and everything else in the science field. And he basically suffers from a rare blood disease where him and his best friend are in a constant battle to try and cure themselves and make their lives better. As it would appear, time is ticking away from both of them as they've suffered from this condition since they were children. So each new experiment seems like more of a desperate gamble. Starting off, the star of the show is Jared Leto, who plays Dr. Michael Morbius. And I actually think he does an okay job. I think what really lets him down in this film is the script rather than his acting. Weirdly, I think his best friend, Milo, who also becomes his arch enemy, actually has a stronger script than the main character, which is slightly peculiar. I think Matt Smith was a good choice for this particular role, especially as as he has a sort of weird shaped head already and is a contrasting character compared to the lead. One thing I really thought that this movie showcased well was Morbius learning his new skills and powers from the experiments and sort of really getting to know the character and what the character can kind of do. The special effects were also pretty decent for the film. And so was the setting, really. I quite liked the use of the director's camera angles, especially when Morbius is sort of flying or the creatures are moving very quickly. I thought that was a really good perspective to see, especially with like the sonar or echolocation sort of scenes and special effects thrown in with it. This movie certainly has a darker tone than a lot of the other Marvel movies, which is what really made me excited to see it, as I didn't really know too much about the character, as I hadn't read any of the comics or whatnot before. But, the big issue with Morbius for me is the storyline. It is very linear, very predictable, and almost very boring. It's so easy to see what's going to happen after the first sort of 30 minutes of the film and you don't need to be a brain surgeon to figure that out, which really it needed a bit more unpredictability. It feels like the director, Daniel Espinosa and Marvel really tried to play it safe with Morbius and for me it didn't pay off. Also, seeing all the bats flying around in the closed container just kept on making me think of Batman and Batman Begins. Just, yeah, they could have done something a bit different there. If it wasn't for the use of some good special effects and CGI, I think this film would have been really awful. The character depth and development is pretty poor throughout. I mean... Tyrese Gibson, who's famous from the Fast and Furious series of movies, he plays an agent looking at mysterious deaths and stuff, you know, around and currently has the Doctor and other people under serious investigation. And his cameo is so pathetic, I'm surprised he even took the role on. He should have featured a lot more. You really don't feel like the police or FBI are involved in anything. And I think this goes to another big weakness, which I mentioned earlier, the script. I mean, again, Marvel tried to throw in some cheesy little one-liner jokes, loosely relating to Spider-Man and Venom, which they also show in the trailer. And to be honest, it didn't get any laughs when we watched it at the cinema. The final couple of points I also want to bring up is the final fight scene and ending to the movie was pretty pathetic. It was like a three-minute affair that was about as hot as lukewarm water. It should have been this 10-15 minute epic battle where you really get to showcase the powers of the both Doctors 
And, you know, it's a real fight to the death. Lastly, the other thing I want to bring up is the cutscenes at the end introducing new characters and the actor Michael Keaton as Adrian Toomes. It seemed to have no relevance in the movie and didn't really set up anything other than the possibility of another movie in the franchise, but I don't think anyone's waiting on the edge of their seat to see what's coming next, to be honest. It just seemed really random. So, on to my ratings, and this one, people, is a salty review. I'm going to give this one 4.7 out of 10. As always, thank you for listening. Please feel free to subscribe and smash that like button. Thank you.